Hey everyone, if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It will help me out a lot as a small creator. Thank you. This is the Goblin Merchant. This greasy little scumbag is a vendor in Dark and Darker. He sells overpriced mystery items that can either be god tier, or more commonly, absolute trash. I will only be spending my gold with this little simp foot sniffer. I can't trade players, and I can't buy items from any other vendor. Welcome to the Goblin Merchant Challenge. Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks for watching this video. This is Season 3, Episode 2 of Goblin Merchant Only. I'm playing Warlock for the season. This was right after the newest patch, so there was no level 14 lobbies anymore, and Warlock just got nerfed a bit. Ray of Darkness was just buffed, so I'm giving it a shot. And as per usual, I'm jumping straight into the action. I tried out Ray of Darkness a couple of times on these mobs and it still seems a bit weak without gear. While I was coming up into this top room, I heard someone through a door, so I went looking for them. I couldn't hear them after I entered the room, so I opened a blue portal just to be safe. Rogue pushed me and I tried to block him from getting through the portal. Since I was low, I jumped through the blue portal. Before selling my collectibles, I was on 33 gold and after selling I went up to 108. I had a quick look at the Goblin Merchant. He had a couple of rings that I wanted to get, but I thought a spell book would be better for me. Sadly, it was just a white spell book, but I can't buy them from the vendor, so it was very helpful for me. I jumped into my spells and I got rid of Ray of Darkness as it just didn't feel too strong, even after the buff. Then I went straight back into the action. I saw a blue portal come up, so I was just farming around it, waiting for someone to show up. I heard some fighting in the next room, so I went to investigate. The bard really didn't want to fight. Since I was pretty full on loot and there was two rings at the goblin merchant, I decided to jump out and try to get them. Before selling I was at 50 gold, and after selling what I collected and a few things in my stash I went up to 245. I went back into the Goblin Merchant and he didn't have the rings anymore, so I grabbed the Falchion. It was green and had higher damage than my Falchion, so I was happy with that. I grabbed a chest piece too and it was quite nice for me.
And lastly, I grabbed a pair of boots, hoping they were right, but they turned out to be pretty average. Then I went straight back in. Straight off the bat, I heard a player in the other room, so I wanted to play aggressive. This player was being really toxic, so I've turned off the audio for when he speaks and hit his name. He died straight after killing me though, so that's karma. I geared straight back up with what I had, then went back in. There was a player in the next room, so I wanted to fight them. As I was going up the stairs, I realized that he died to the mobs. There was a mage lurking around below me trying to get a fireball off. He had a lot of really good loot for me. After looting the wizard, there wasn't much time left, so I ran around looking for a blue portal. Before selling, I was at 92 gold and after at 201, with a fair bit of extra gear for myself. I had a look at the goblin merchant and he didn't have anything for me at the moment, so I decided to run again. No. 
I found a really good spell book for myself in here. This is right after the nerf. So as far as I'm aware, you can only get magical healing on weapons now. The chests are definitely better after this patch too. down the hallway started pushing me so I played very defensively trying to bait out as many spells as possible He had a few sellable items for me in another spell book. Before selling it was at 245 gold and after I went up to 320. The goblin merchant only had a longsword that I could use so I picked that up and it turned out to be pretty good. I sold all my silver and a few things in my stash and waited for the goblin merchant to reset so I could buy a few items before getting off for the day. I bought some boots which were pretty average but still a speed increase for me. Then I went with another chess piece which was pretty good, had a bit of magic pen. Bought some leather leggings, which weren't the best. And for the final bit of gold, I decided to spend it on a wizard's hat, which wasn't very great. But that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. This is all the best gear I've ended up with after playing today. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more, please subscribe, it will help me out a lot. I do other content like montages, meme videos, and a few guides. But thanks for watching. I'm the trash man! I come out, I throw trash all over, all over my channel, and then I start eating garbage. <laughs>